Hi everyone, I'm Ruan and welcome to week two of learning computer science in two years. I want to keep this one short, so let's get straight into it. So for the update on this week, let's look at our spreadsheet first. So our spreadsheet or our timesheet, uh, as you can see, I actually did quite well. I was able to get in 18, I almost said 15, 18 hours by Thursday. This is amazing because that means I only had to spend two hours to get to my 20 hour target for Monday through Friday. Then going into the weekend, I spent some more time on coding or programming courses instead of calculus as I normally would on a Saturday. Uh, that's because I just started with an assignment on Friday and I kind of wanted to push through and, uh, you know, really get, get through the assignments because I was afraid that I might forget where I was at, or what I was doing, etc. if I left it until the next Monday. So I just pushed through, did that, then I started with the calculus. But overall, I got in more than 30 hours, slightly more, maybe 30 and a half or 31 hours this week. And uh, that's very good. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so I'm happy with that. So to give you some feedback on the actual courses, first of all, how to code simple data. So technically I'm done with that course. The only thing I didn't do is the final project. The final project being a Space Invaders game. Now that sounds amazing. So I'll probably go back and do that one a bit later. But for now I thought, you know what? I'm not feeling it. I didn't want to spend a lot of time on a big project at this moment. What I rather wanted to do was continue on to complex data. These two courses, are very much interlinked, right? You pretty much, uh, they just flow over. It feels like you're just doing the same course. It, it doesn't even feel like a different course, but they are separated on EDX. So I just continued with complex data and, uh, and that's where I'm at now. So I'm currently busy with complex data. I won't lie, there are some topics in complex data that get a bit complicated. So I think currently I'm busy with a concept called abstractions. It's not the most complicated thing in the world, but I do feel like I can get a bit better at it. Okay, so I did finish it. I did the problem set, but it didn't feel good, right? So I'm going to go back. I'm going to rewatch some of the videos on abstraction, and then I'm going to do some additional problem sets just so that I know that I've mastered that specific topic, right? It's really important for me to actually feel like I'm getting the computer science, right? I'm understanding what I need to do and not just flying through all the courses as fast as possible, right? That's not the objective here. The objective is not to finish in, you know, a one year. If it takes me two years, it takes me two years. If it takes me two and a half years, well, I mean, that'll not be great because this whole series is named in two years. However, it's more important for me to actually understand the topics, to understand the content of the courses and to become a good computer scientist at the end. I don't just want to finish the course. I want to be a good computer scientist. So that is my motivation. That's why I'm rather going slow in this specific case. And I'm sure it's not going to be that big of a deal. It might take me one day of backtracking a little bit and then I'll be A4 away. But that's where I'm at now on the programming front. Then if we come over to calculus, the calculus has been going quite well. I must caveat that by saying that, again, this is not my first time doing calculus. I've done this before. It's a lot of revision for me. And a lot of the stuff is like, I'm remembering some of it, some of it not so much, but I'm remembering quite a bit. And obviously I've practiced maths a lot. And uh, you know, some of it just comes back as muscle memory, if I'm honest. But anyway, the calculus is, doing, is going well. I just feel like I might need to do a little bit more practice. Uh, after all, you know, you learn maths by doing maths. It's the same for programming, actually. You learn to program by programming. You can watch a lot of videos, but that doesn't really make you a better anything. It doesn't make you better at maths, I can tell you that much. Uh, it definitely helps to actually do the problems. It also helps to not do the problem with the solution manual or the, you know, the worked solution right next to you. Don't do that. Uh, it's kind of a problem with... I have to be honest, it's a problem with self-learning, right? Or, or this type of thing that I'm doing, because everything that you do, problem sets there, 
right? That's cool. They give you the problem set. They also give you the solution. Hmm. And that's kind of a problem because you are tempted to go and look at the solution when you're stuck. And actually what you are supposed to do is sit there and chew on the problem. Might be a tough one, so you chew a bit longer, but you still have to chew. That's how we develop our math muscles or your math brain or whatever you want to call it. Um, by doing more maths and really struggling with the math. Because once you've done it yourself and you've made that breakthrough, you're never going to struggle with it again. Well, that might be a bit optimistic. If you forget it, you're going to struggle again. But still, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That's kind of all I wanted to say. Guys, keep it up. Thank you so much for the comments that you guys are leaving. I am enjoying reading them. It is good to see that there are other people out there trying the same CS degree or this OSU open source computer science degree. I do believe that it's quite good and I'm, I'm happy to see that some of you guys have also discovered it and that you are giving it a try. Good luck. Keep it up. Uh, thank you that you are posting comments. That motivates me to continue as well. Uh, post some more, please. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please consider leaving a like, subscribing. If you want to follow the progress, uh, do subscribe, please. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.